Hi guys, it's me Swastik and this is part 3 of how to make your own Discord bot dashboard with Python. So let's begin. In this video, we'll be designing our dashboard and we'll be making it look much better and you'll be able to select the servers and we'll also add this button which lets you open the dashboard or login. So we'll open our main.py file and inside of our home function when we are rendering the template, we will pass in authorized which is basically we are awaiting discord.authorized. What this does is it tells us if it will be a boolean value, either true or false. So this will be true if we are logged in and it will be false if we aren't. So what it does is basically in our index.html, we will check if we are not authorized, then we will show the login with discord button that redirects us to slash login. And if we are authorized, else we will show the open dashboard button that redirects us to dashboard. So we have some CSS that basically designs this stuff. So we have our main CSS file, which is index.css. So for this to work, you'll need to create a folder named static and you need to put the index.css inside that folder. Let's now take a look at our index.css. Now inside here, we have our body tag and in the body, we have this bg.png. Now this you can change if you wanted. I just have this. So it just uses this image as our background image. And we have the size to be 40% and the color of the text will be white. Now for the headings, we will set the text align to center. And let's go back. Now, since we also need to change the button here, we have some CSS inside a style tag. We have the button here. The color is white. Background color is this color green. When we hover over the button, it will increase its size by a little bit. So what it looks like is if I go back. So when I hover over this, it pops out. So it looks kind of cool. So I just have this. All right. So this is what we have in our index.html. Now let's come back to main.py. Now instead of our callback, we'll be changing some stuff. We will still be trying to get the callback. But if there is an exception, we will pass. And we will return a redirect for the dashboard. Now inside of our dashboard, we'll check if we are authorized. If we are not authorized, then we will return the redirect for the login page. And once we are logged in, we will get the guild count and the guild IDs and the user guilds. And guilds is a list. Now we will loop through each guild inside of the user guilds. And we will check if the user has admin permissions. If they don't have it, we will not do anything. But if they do have the permissions, we will append this guild. Now, before we actually append this, we will set this attribute that is class color to green border if the guild ID is inside of guild IDs, otherwise red border. Now, what this does is it tells us if the bot is actually inside of the guild. If it's green, that means the bot is inside the guild. And if it's red, that means the bot is not in the guild. Now, in the dashboard, you can see that these are the servers that the bot is in. So these are green but these are the servers that the bot is not in. So when we click on a server that the bot is in, it will redirect us to the settings for that server. Otherwise, it will prompt us to add the bot. So I'm just gonna show this. I'm gonna click on Swaswell and it asks us to add the bot to Swaswell and we can continue and we can do that. So let's come back and continue with this. After we do this, we sort the guilds. Now, why do we do this exactly? It's because we want the servers that the bot is in. We want those servers to be shown before the servers that the bot is not in. Now we sort it by checking if the color is red. So if the color is red, it will return one. Otherwise it will return zero. And this can be sorted. So zero and then one. So the gills get sorted by greens first and then reds. And we'll also get the name of the current user that's logged in. So we have name equals await discord.fetch user and their name and we will pass all of this in our dashboard.html we have the guild count we have the guilds and we have the username so let's actually check what this dashboard.html looks like now inside of this we are including the index.css file like we did in the index.html file then inside of our body we will have this heading coding bot dashboard and we have this h2 tag which says the bot is in the guild count servers now inside of this, we have a div. Now this is the main div that contains everything inside of this picker, the server picker. So let's look at the CSS for this. Basically, we have a margin, a shadow, the background color is this, and it's a little bit curved. This border radius of three pixels means it's curved a little bit. So inside of our picker class, we have this h3 tag, which says hello, the username, and please select a server to get started. 
then we have an hr tag which is basically this horizontal line and then we have this section for the cards so all of these cards are inside of this section so let's take a look at this cards class what we basically have is display grid so what this line of code does is it figures out how many servers we can fit inside our screen size and they must at least be 240 pixels so if i show you this is actually responsive i can bring this here and shrink this you can see that it automatically adjusts and it can fit as many as the screen allows it to fit so this is nice and after that we justify the items to be centered so it looks cleaner so instead of that we will loop through each guild in guilds and for each guild we will be creating a card now this card actually is another grid and the rows are actually the image and then the text so if i go back here you can see that the image is actually surrounded by an a tag which links to the dashboard slash the guild id so this is actually surrounding the image tags in the a tag we will check if the guild actually has an icon if they don't have an icon we show this default profile picture the default profile picture looks like this this gray icon and if they do have an icon then we just show that and the class is actually guild dot class color if you remember we said this in our main.py we said this to be green if the bot was in the server otherwise it was red if i look at the css for it it's just the border being green or red so after that what we do is we end the if and we close the a tag and we go to the next line and we have the guild dot name so this is how it looks like the server icon then coding academy and after that we will end the div and we will end the for and that's it for the dashboard we can save this finally we'll be having the dashboard slash guild id now we'll be working on this more in the future videos but for now we will be just checking as long as we're authorized if you're not authorized we will redirect to the login page if we are authorized then we will be requesting this get guild and we'll be passing the guild id now what this does it basically gets the guild by the guild id data dot guild id and if it's none then we return none but otherwise we will package this into a json format and we'll send it using this format the name is guild.name the id is guild.id and prefix is actually i set it to be question mark this is just temporary for now we'll be actually implementing the prefix later on so for now we can just send this question mark and we'll be returning this guild data so this can be received from here so if the guild is none that means the bot isn't in the server so we will need to let them add the bot so we redirect them to this link which adds the bot the client id is app.config discord client id permissions is eight this is admin perms you can actually change this to whatever perms you want guild id will be the guild id that was passed in and the redirect uri is basically the redirect uri after this is successful it will actually call this callback and this will send us back to this dashboard because this will fail because this will raise an exception as the code for the server is not the same as for the user so this creates an exception and we get back to the dashboard so that's it for this video let's actually check if it works as we expected it to and let's log in let's check if it works this should still work i can authorize and this will take us back to the dashboard and we can select a server for example the coding academy and this works it just shows the name because that's what we did we just returned the guild.name we'll be working on this in the future episodes we'll be showing a proper settings page and you'll be able to change the settings so let's actually check if it works for some other servers as well if i open up like electrobot it still works and if i open a server that the bot isn't in for example swaswell it will ask me to add the bot i can add the bot and once i do add the bot let's let's verify that i'm a human it adds it makes this green so it's now green and i can click on this and it worked and that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit the like button and subscribe and i will meet you in the next video goodbye